Welcome back to another insightful episode of Street Parliament on Other Paper, where we hit the streets to discuss and hear your voices on the pressing issues that matter most and dive deep into the juiciest topics straight from the heart of the National Assembly. Well, we all know that electricity is an essential part of our daily lives, powering our homes, businesses and communities. But with the recent tariff hike, many of us are feeling the pinch. The electricity tariff hike has been a hot topic of conversation lately, sparking debate about affordability, service reliability, and the overall state of our electricity sector. The increase approved by the Nigerian Electricity Regulatory Commission, NEC, affects customers under the Band A classification with a staggering rise of over 300%. Now, there are five bands according to NEC, which include Band A, B, C, D, and E. Under Band A, customers are entitled to a minimum of 20 hours per day. Under Band B, customers are entitled to a minimum of 16 hours of light per day. For Band C, these are customers who have access to a minimum of 12 hours per day. The Band D customers are given a minimum of 8 hours of electricity per day. And lastly, the Band E customers have access to a minimum of 4 hours per day. Now recently, lawmakers like Rev. Benjamin Kalu and Senator Ali Ndumi have opposed this hike, denouncing it as ill-timed given the challenges Nigerians are facing, including the aftermath of fuel subsidy removal. They have also assured citizens that they will address their grievances as it reconvenes for plenary sessions. All right then, enough of me, my people. I know many of us are feeling this pinch badly. Tell us what band you fall under. Your opinions count, so share your thoughts. Well, in my area, sometimes we see like 10 minutes to go off and then uh, during the day we may have sometimes we don't have but if they take it during the evening we will not see it again till the next morning yeah the band that my area is falling on is on band a and the is too much for us and we don't even have light i'm just tired this, this band this band a federal currently now we're in federal housing and we heard that they put this uh, federal housing on is it type b or whatsoever the category they created it. But we've never had it bad like this in the history of Nigeria, in time of light. The place they said is Type B. Before, when you want to subscribe, if you subscribe 20,000 Naira, you get like, a, what's it called, a 50 units, or 70 units to 100 units. Now they have put out in Type B. When you subscribe that 20,000, you may not get more than 30 units. And now, currently, as we are talking, for more than five days, we've never get light. And by residence, I usually get light uh, on the average, in the past one week, on the average of five to seven hours. That is uh, something that affects all aspects of our life, both in the family, starting from there as a family person, you know the cost of food items in the country now. And uh, as a family, you try to conserve as much as you can. You cannot cook anything in the bulk and uh, put in the refrigerator. That is the usual complaint my wife gives to me. So in that aspect, a lot of damages, anytime you try to do that, everything will get spoiled. So it's, we are not saving anything. It's not helping us in family-wise. Not to talk of the education of the children. No light most times for them to prepare for their exams and do well in their academics. Even those engaged in technical things like computer, you cannot charge your computer laptops to do some IT stuff and even your phone to uh, communicate with uh, business partners. So it affects us so much in that. Then coming to the public. You can't be talking about security when there is no light. When the whole place is dark, it makes everywhere conducive for criminals to thrive. I'm a physiotherapy person. I need light to do that work. So in a situation where I meet my clients and there's no light, I sweat all through the day. 
all through the walk till the work is done, which is not the best. So that's the area you affect me in my work. I have a business, my shop is around here. I'm doing meat pie for one week now. I don't even have money to take my Igboya and every other striker bitters and drink. Yes, because base. Base was saying lack of uh, power supply. But I need to keep on holding credit bills. Then ask this man that is holding this shop right now. I don't have light. So now I cannot prepare my sauce and keep it in my freezer. I cannot run my business. I cannot run my minerals and every other thing. Right now, what I'm doing now, I'm just trying to any day I get light because I don't have money to go and get a chain. Generator is being power, the, the cost of generator and inverter now in this country is very high. I mean, uh, I can't blame NEPA. Uh, NEPA is trying for, for us of this, especially this federal housing. They are trying. Personally, is it not what I'm telling you? Day before yesterday, I took my phone, my power bank and everything to where I want to go and charge. The person that is charging it as a business, uh, this thing, he, they are using uh, uh, light, they are using uh, petrol to charge and do it with business. I paid 250, uh, 300 naira that yesterday. From morning to night, I could not charge 40%. Now, the phone, everything is down. If I want to receive any call, if there is anything that is coming as a benefit, as a graduate, I apply in so many places. Are you getting me? I'm expecting email. If they want to call you for an interview, are they not calling you through your phone? Is it not that phone that is down and I keep it there now? I'm looking for, I want to, today I'm supposed to sit down in my house. I will go to town. I will spend nothing less than 2,000 naira, go to town and come back to go and charge phone. And come back on Saturday, Sunday, before you know any other thing. That, that phone don't. You don't run down again. From what I heard from the media, I heard that it is for them to bring uh, the tariff apart uh, with what is obtainable in other parts of the world, thereby making it uh, easier for investors, both foreign and uh, local, to invest in the power sector. But you and I know that these are all fables. If uh, the issue of corruption is tackled. We don't have to go that route to attract investors in these areas. We can do a lot better. Okay, imagine they've given us band A and band B and whatever band without commensurate power supply according to what they promised so far. This is just under one week plus. They have already failed in their promises. What do you think will now happen after one month? After one month, I think we might go back to even less than what we used to have. The cause of the relationship, that's why I tell you, say, rainfall, sometimes breeze, eh? uh, uh, spot it, you see. Then one, they will tell, they will tell us that, that uh, I, uh, I, they will tell us that 35 minutes or one hour, eh? 35 minutes or one hour, eh? light will come and we'll see light. Say you see. It's not even the matter of icon in a electricity or whatever, whatever. I will suggest that federal government should number one force change the minister of power. Change the minister of power. That man is not fit to be a minister of Federal Republic of Nigeria. They can put it in another sector. How will somebody that have the background of financial this thing from number one till day up to this moment they, they gave him power? What did he want to do? All his life, all his background of his life, he, he, he did it in banking sector. He worked in the US under financial uh, this thing. He came to Nigeria to come and work in CBN and retire as a what's he called a, a, as a deputy governor of CBN. And they gave him a minister of power. What did he want to do in minister of power? How we live make this thing? Now they are using uh, the, the the power uh, sector to test to test run. He's there to 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 test run himself whether he can do all uh, this thing. Let them find somebody that is competent, capable, and the capacity is there for him to make a rapid changes. How long are we being in this situation? The state of melancholy we are. How long are we? Every country that want to develop, number one. A, a characteristic of the developed country is more you, you must get light. If you cannot get light 24 hours, at least you should get light 15 hours in a day. I say four days we don't have. This is federal housing. No? Anyway, what I think they can do is that what can they do? Do more than what they have been doing. Anyway, let them just 
try and see how they can reduce the uh, what they have increased so far okay, so that people too because there are people that don't even have money to even buy small small thing at home not to talk of to pay nipa bill and now before we used to get uh, 21 uh, uh, points when we recharge 2000 but now we are getting it so and that eight if it's uh, if it's people that have a lot of things that business people it will not even take them for maybe four days because there are people that are running a small petty business in the street and this is not uh, they try to come up let if government can help us and know that this pharmacy is no be everybody be big man so if government can assist us so that Tomorrow, you go see bounce. We don't have, me, even me now, personally, I don't have money to pay transport and go to my village, which some young boys like me, they are going to abroad, they are going to Dubai. Me, I, do, I cannot even get money to pay and go to my village. So it's a, an error, something is going wrong. So let government try to consider the poor masses because we are just tired. Most of hunger, most of this, most of things. Me, I may be a pastor, but because of frustration can make me to <laughs> Start taking over. <laughs> uh, I want to government to adjust the problem of the electricity uh, because Turubu Baba Jagaba is trying, uh, but I want me to try more. And it's not only electricity. Uh, this dollar when it, it came down. Uh, the dollar is coming down now, small, 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 small. I know that if color came dropping where the economy will go up, uh, everybody will enjoy. This thing is uh, is no magic. If we are sincere, if the government, if the federal government is sincere, if the national assembly is sincere, it is very simple. It is very easy. How long since 1999 we have been in this state of melancholy, on top of power only? We've spent trillions of naira on top of power. Let them go to other country. How do they, they how do they do it to make effective changes that they can be able to have a power supply within some period of time? Let them look for somebody that is capable. See Minister of uh, Interior. They bring Minister of Interior within uh, what's it called three months. Effective changes in the history of Nigeria is the best minister so far in the history of Nigeria. Now, what is is not is not magic. There is nothing like magic in it. If they put somebody that is capable, competent, and know about power sector very well, this thing does not take time. Within six months, you will see the effective changes of the power. The, the thing is getting worse. You cannot do any business. I said everybody, if you look at everybody here now, you see power bank. Any moment your power bank, you will be looking for where to charge it. To make uh, power available, and accessible to Nigerians. It is not rocket science. It is not rocket science. One is the issue of uh, uh, decentralization of uh, certain kind of powers, as in uh, what they call uh, those items that are in the exclusive list. You understand? If they remove power there and make it uh, possible and easier for people to generate power in their various capacities as they need. Yeah, and uh, also it will make it much easier. And also another way is uh, if we are talking of subsidy, why can't the federal government say that they are give, subsidizing power production, uh, power generation uh, plants for various states? or even various local governments. Each local government, if you, if you it kind of uh, uh, show how you want to generate power, federal government can come in into kind of a counterpart funding, come in and uh, subsidize the uh, making of that power station. <laughs>